welcome back to my channel. So the video I have for you today is going to be an empties video and I have a ginormous bag that weighs probably 15 pounds full of empties that I've been hoarding for the past few months and I just can't take it anymore. So this is going to be a long video. I'm just warning you. I'm going to try to get through it as fast as possible. But if you want to see what products I've used up lately and how I feel about them, then just keep watching and we'll get started. Bye! Okay, so the first thing I'm pulling out of this bag is a soft soap body butter, uh, the coconut scrub kind, and this is a repurchase. <laughs> and I use this up um, over the summertime. It's a really fun summer scent and I really enjoy it because it has exfoliating beads in it and it smells like coconut and I love coconut. So I would definitely repurchase this and I already The have. next thing I used up was a Suave Advanced Therapy hand cream. Um, I just bought this for my like cuticle and around my nail. Uh, like my nail beds get really really dry and um, I don't know, I tend to pick on them and stuff. I don't know what to do uh, for them. I use tons of hand lotion and I just can't find one that moisturizes like around my nail bed. Um, like in the corners of my nails, like where it hits the skin, it gets extremely dry. So if any of you out there like have a suggestion on what to do about that, then please let me know. But I have repurchased this um, in the past, so it's just nice. It's like 99 cents. It's not really a great hand cream, but it was just something I bought at the time and it didn't really work that well, but it was a last resort. So that's that. the next item I have is a CoverGirl Outlast 3 in 1 foundation, and this is in the color 820 Creamy Natural, and I used this up. Um, within like the last month, um, I had had this for a really long time and just wanted to get rid of it, so that's why I used it. Uh, the shade is a little too pink for me, so I don't really know what color I am in that foundation. Um, but this is a repurchase. Um, I'm, I can't remember what the last color was that I bought, but I have repurchased this, and it's a definitely a great foundation. It has primer, concealer. And foundation all built in so if you're looking for a full coverage uh, long wearing foundation then I would suggest the that. next item I have is a travel size urban decay D de slick makeup setting spray this is the oil control one and this is a repurchase I love the urban decay setting sprays I think they're phenomenal and yeah I just get the little travel size every time but I highly recommend this product. Next item I used up is a Bath & Body Works Vanilla Buttercream Nourishing Hand Cream and I think I got this around like over the summer, I don't know, it was like three dollars so I, I bought one but I really really love the scent of this and I do like these nourishing hand creams. I did have a pink chiffon one I think in my last empties video. These are really moisturizing, they don't leave your hands feeling greasy or anything but I ran out, so I need to definitely get a Next one. item is a Suave Natural Infusion Anti-Breakage Conditioner, and this is the Ginger and Honeysuckle scent. I wasn't a huge fan of the ginger scent, um, and I don't know if this really did anything for my hair, but I do love Suave hair products, so I tend to stick with that brand. Um, I did repurchase Suave shampoo and conditioner, just not this kind. The next thing I have is a pack of makeup remover wipes, and these are the ones from Kroger, which I have repurchased a thousand times. The next item is a Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent, and I did repurchase this. You all know this is my Holy Grail setting powder, and it's my favorite, so I will continue to repurchase this. The next thing I have is a Dove deodorant. I don't know why I threw this in here. Um, I'm starting to throw deodorants in my empties now. So this is just the original clean scent, and I have repurchased this. I think this is my favorite deodorant ever. Yeah, pretty much ever. I just like the way it smells and it does its job, which is always a plus. The next item is a Revlon Colorstay foundation in the color 200 Nude. 
and this is a repurchase. You know that this is one of my favorite foundations. The next item is a Garnier Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream Moisturizer, and this is for dry skin. Um, I bought this last winter because my face gets extremely dry in the winter time. So I bought this and I finally used it up. Um, I really, really like it, so I probably will repurchase this. It's a little on the pricey side because Garnier products are kind of pricey, but I, if you have dry skin, I highly suggest this product. The next thing is a lotion from Bath & Body Works. I recently cleaned out my stash of extremely old and retired Bath & Body Works lotions. Um, this one's so old that the texture has actually changed of it, so that's why it's in my empties. It's not empty. I used this probably two times in my life. Um, it's the Ultimate Silk Body Lotion in the scent Sensual Amber, which is one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. I'm not even sure if they still have it anymore. But this lotion just makes your skin feel like extremely silky and soft, and it's just amazing. But it's really nasty and clumpy now, so I threw it in my empties because I wanted to talk about it. But they got rid of these lotions years and years ago, and I think they should bring them back because they just make your skin feel so amazing. The next item I have is a Morocco Orchid and Pink Amber Triple Moisture Body Cream from Bath & Body Works, and I got this during the semi-annual sale. Um, you saw this in that video I did for my haul. But the, this is an amazing body cream. This is a repurchase. The last one I bought was a pink chiffon scent. Um, but yeah, it's really moisturizing. I love the way it smells. So I'll definitely repurchase this just in a different Now scent. we're getting to the good stuff. Um, I cleaned out my makeup and I threw everything in here that was old or I couldn't use anymore. So we're just gonna try to go through this as quick as possible. Um, I used up a Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner, which is one of my favorites, but I just can't repurchase it at the moment because I don't like to spend 20, 20, $21 on eyeliner, but I really enjoyed that. I have a NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. This is a great concealer. I think this was the wrong color for me. I got it in medium and I should have got it in light but this is only $5 at Ulta and it's a great product. I used up a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Light, which is also a really good concealer. It doesn't crease very well, but I'm not sure if I'll repurchase this because I do like the Maybelline Age Rewind um, Dark Circle Eraser. And I do really enjoy the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer, so I probably won't repurchase this I one. used up a clear brow gel from Great Lash, which looks nasty. I used up an Elf, Elf Lip Exfoliator. Um, it's, there's like a tiny bit left, but it's down to the nitty gritty. No pun intended. <laughs> um, but yeah, I repurchased this, so I do really like this I product. used up a Purology Color Fanatic. Um, this is just a little travel size. I got this in a glossy box, and this has like 21 essential benefits, and it made my hair smell really weird. I don't know if it was just when I used heat with it, but it smelled really weird. Um, I liked it this way. This product smelled by itself, just not on my hair. So I don't know what was up with that, but I definitely would not repurchase this because I do not have color treated hair and stuff is really, really expensive. Next item I used up is a Bamboo 48 Hour Sustainable Volume Spray, and I got this also from the Glossy Box. Um, this stuff smelled good. I didn't really see where it gave me volume at all. Uh, I used it more as a like detangler after I washed my hair, but I probably wouldn't repurchase this just because uh, it was just a sample and Probably really expensive. I also used up a Bath & Body Works Tahiti Sweetie Body Lotion, and this was so old, so I knew I had to use it up. Um, I don't even know if they still carry this, but I love the way this smells. It smells like, like all islandy and tropical, and yeah, it's it smelled really good. So this it, well, this was a repurchase. I bought it a long, long time ago as well. So yeah, I probably wouldn't buy it again just because I have a ton of other lotion I need to use. The next thing I kind of didn't, I didn't really use this up, I just threw it out. It was the Clean and Clear Mattifying Moisturizer. It's oil free. Um, I like the idea of this, 
it mattifies your skin so you're not shiny. But the thing is, is it kind of dried out my face. Um, so it kind of enhanced like any dry skin that I had. Um, it's a white color, so it was really weird. Yeah, it was really weird um, to put on your face like before your makeup or whatever, but I like the idea of it. It just didn't work out for me. The next thing I used up is a L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara, and this is one of my favorite mascaras. I didn't repurchase this just because I have so many other mascaras to use up, but I have like five mascaras in this bag to show you, so next item was a CoverGirl Lash Blast, and this is the Fusion kind, and I believe this one is volumizing was like a volumizing and lengthening formula. Um, I normally really like the Lash, the Lash Blast mascaras, but this one didn't really do it for me. Um, I got better length with other mascaras, so I probably won't repurchase this. And I think it's discontinued anyways. So The next item I used up is a Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Mascara, and I really like this mascara. The wand is really big and fluffy and yeah it's like bendable like that so I really like the wand on that one. The next thing I threw out was a Mirabella primer which I got an Ipsy bag a long long time ago and it's just kind of watery now so I wanted to get rid of it but this is for face and eyes and it was a good primer it's like a silicone based primer kind of like a gel but I just had to get rid the of it. The next thing I used up is an e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder, and this is a repurchase. I love this powder. I just wish that it came in a bigger container, because this only lasts me like, I don't know, a month, a month and a half, two months, um, and it's like $3 every time, but I really, really enjoy this, and it just keeps your concealer from creasing, and yeah, it's just a really, really good... I powder. used up a Maybelline color tattoo in the color nude pink and this was limited edition but if you saw my Dollar Tree haul I did find two of these at the Dollar Tree um, for a dollar so I used that one up but I was happy because I actually found more and the next thing I threw out was a NYX mood lip gloss and this just changes colors with the temperature of your lips or whatever and this is the color affectionate I bought this the first time I went to Ulta ever, and that was like two years ago, over two years ago. Um, I only used it like twice, so if that tells you anything about this product, um, yeah, I definitely would not repurchase this again. The next item I threw out was a Great Lash Maybelline Limited Edition Vision in Violet, and I did do a review on this on my channel, I'll link it below. That was like two years ago, so it's a really old video. But this is just an overdue mascara that needed thrown out, and I really didn't like it that much, so I knew I was never gonna. Next use item it. was an Elf pumping, an Elf plumping lip glaze, and one side plumps and the other side is the color, and it's just old, and I had to throw it out. Um, I used to use this all the time when I first got into makeup um, and first got my YouTube channel, but. It's just super old and I needed to The away. next item I used up, kind of, it just kind of dried out on me, was another Maybelline color tattoo and this is in the color Barely Branded and it looks like that. It's just a really pretty shimmery champagne color but it got old and dried up so I threw this out because ain't no way I'm putting that on my eyes. I got rid of two more mascaras. Uh, this one is Hard Candy's Flat to Fab. I just got this in a little travel kit. I used this twice, but it wasn't that great of a mascara. And then the other one I threw away is the Pixi Lash Booster Mascara that I got in an Ipsy bag like a year ago, um, which didn't really do much for my lashes either, so I threw that away as well. This item is a Physician's Formula multicolored eyeshadow pearls and this is in the color sand pearls now this eyeshadow I have had probably since I was 12 so they're just little like pearly beads I don't know if you can see that but it's so old so I, it's gotta go it's next gotta item go. I threw out was a blistex lip infusion moisture splash little rollerball chapstick this also was very very old and I've had this for five or more years 
and I didn't really like the way it smelled, so mm, I got rid of that as well. I got rid of three liquid eyeliners. Uh, first one was the Jordana Fabuliner, which I love, but it dried up really fast for me. Um, so yeah, so that's an empty. The next one was the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen, which is by far the worst liquid eyeliner I've ever used in my life. Uh, when you put it on, it like spreads through all the dry skin and cracks you may have like in your skin, on your eyelids, and it just it was just not a good one. I was expecting more because I really like the felt tip pens, but this one just didn't do The it next well. item I used up was a NYX Super Skinny Marker uh, for your eyes, and this also didn't do it for me. Uh, it just, it looks fine on my hand, but when I put it on my eyes, it just isn't very black and I also had high expectations for this one because as you can see it is a very thin pen and I really like that about eyeliners but it's gotta go. I have two other eyeliners in here which um, this one is the e.l.f. Shimmer Eye pen Eyeliner Pencil which is really cool because it has actually a sharpener built into the cap but I, I was using this when I had my pink eye allergic reaction I don't even know like a year ago so I knew I had to throw this out um, I didn't actually have pink eye I had allergies which was turning into allergic conjunctivitis little backstory there um, so I know it's not like gonna spread and get in my eye anymore but it just is super old and I gotta throw it out. The up. next one was a Wet n Wild Mega Last retractable eyeliner and this is just a horrible eyeliner um, in order to get this to like draw on my eye, I had to press down so hard and it hurt my eye so bad, so I've just thrown it out. The last products are all lip products. This one is a Revlon Just Fitten Balm Stain, and I got this like two years ago, and I just didn't use it very often, so I am throwing this one the out. The next one is an e.l.f. Jumbo Lip Gloss Stick, which smells like toothpaste, kind of weird. Um, I've also had it for like two years, so I'm also throwing this one out as The well. last three products are also lip products. This one is the C.O. Bigelow Vitamin Mentha uh, Glacial Mint Tinted, Tinted Lip Balm from Bath & Body Works. I don't know if you all remember when they used to carry these, but it was years ago. Um, it was just a clear balm that had glitter in it, and it tasted like peppermint, which I loved, but they got rid of these. The next item was a very sexy lip the gloss color password. And I really like this color. I didn't like that it had chunky pieces of glitter in it, but, and I also like that it had a brush tip applicator instead of a doe foot applicator. But it's just so old and it's almost empty, so I'm throwing And the out. last empty, gosh, I feel like I've been talking forever, is an Aveda lipstick in the color 49 Sheer Ivory Nuts. Um, I used to work for an Aveda salon back in the day and I was the receptionist. So this is one of the items I purchased while I worked there for my discount. Um, it's just, it was just a pretty, like, I don't know, tan color, but it's so old and it started changing texture and getting little bumps on the lipstick itself. And it smells really good, but I have to throw it out. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this empties video. I know that was a long one. I promise I'll never do another long one like that again, ever. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please leave any recommendations for videos in the down bar below. Um, and I'll leave all my information down there below for previous empties, whatever videos I mentioned in this video. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye! The next thing I used up is a Maybelline color tattoo in the color Nude Pink and you guys know that, oh, goodness gracious, but it was 